Over the weekend, Jake Paul hosted a birthday party for the rapper designer, and a bunch of other YouTubers and celebrities ended up showing up to this party, and a few women were allegedly drugged at this party as well. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about what really happened and see what we can learn from it. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is pull different topics from the news or TV shows and movies or even the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell, all right? And if you're not yet, make sure you follow me over on Instagram and Twitter because I love, I love engaging with all of you, chatting with you, I put up polls and things like that for video ideas all that good stuff. So follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at The Rewired Soul, all right? So yeah, over the weekend, Jake Paul had a party for the rapper designer. Huge, huge, huge party. And there was a ton, a ton of like celebrities there. Obviously his brother Logan was there, but like Chris Brown was there, uh, Swale was there, Tana Mojo showed up, uh, Bella Thorne showed up. Um, bunch of people showed up to that party. And it was a crazy party, huge party. And it was recently, um, just today, reported that a few women were allegedly drugged at this party, all right? And this is a, a, a huge topic, like, that is really important, where we need to talk about the drugging at parties. So, just so you all know, those of you who haven't met me yet, um, I've been in recovery from drug and alcohol addiction for going on seven years now, um, next month, but... I've done my fair share of partying, uh, most of them being house parties. I live in Las Vegas, so I've gone out to bars and clubs and things like that, right? But this is a danger that everybody should be beware of. So right now I'm saying this is alleged, right? So nothing's been proven yet or anything like that, but it is definitely a possibility. One of the stories out there is that these women were drugged. Uh, on the Philip DeFranco show, he said, uh, one of the, the uh, one of the mothers possibly posted this in a private Facebook group uh, for moms in that area about how one of their daughters was drugged, but nobody's been able to get a hold of the, the woman who posted that, so we're not sure if it's true. What is possible, and this is just like, listen, I don't mean I'm not I'm not here to be a, a wet blanket or whatever it is. Like, go do your thing, go party, just be safe, don't be stupid, all right. But the reality is is especially at parties, like, we have to be mindful of what we're taking, okay? Like, we have to, all right? Like, especially right now with the epidemic going on with fentanyl, like, fentanyl is being mixed with, like, uh, not only is it being mixed with, mixed with heroin, but it's being mixed with prescription opioids, it's being uh, mixed with Xanax as well. So there are a lot of people who are mixing things, so be careful if for some reason you are using drugs at, uh, recreationally at these parties, like, please make sure you know who you're getting them from, what they are, and all of that stuff, because you never know what they're gonna be mixed with, you know, so, like, just be safe, be safe out there. But something I do wanna take an opportunity to do, because, you know, I've been given this platform to speak and discuss things, like, know, know the best ways to make sure that your drink does not get spiked when you're at a party, okay? It is, it is just things that you should always do, and this is why, like, you should always, like, I don't know, Try not to get too messed up, or if you do get messed up, make sure you have a friend who can help keep an eye on you and your drink and everything like that. But just a few tips, always make sure that you watch your drink being poured. Make sure that you get your own drinks. I know some people will bring you drinks, like, hey girl, you want this drink? No thank you, you know what I mean? If you do, like, taste it, see if it tastes funny or weird. And by the way, all of these things are very difficult to do while you're getting drunk. Another thing is when you are walking around the party, hold your drink like at the top of your drink so nobody can like, like slip something in your drink. Just things like that. Don't leave your drink unattended, all that kind of stuff. But my beautiful girlfriend Tristan just reminded me too, and I'll try to provide a link down below or even an image on the screen, but apparently there is like a nail polish that you can get where you can like dip it in your drink and if it changes colors, it means that it might be. So that's a pretty cool technology, so do that. Get yourself some nail polish, girl, that detects your drink being spiked. So go out there, have fun. I'm a 33-year-old man who is sober, so I'm not in your realm anymore if you're out there partying, but just please, please, please be safe. Best thing you could do, always have somebody, like a designated driver, somebody who's gonna be there with you or somebody who doesn't plan on getting, you know, too messed up. 
By the way, maybe get some sober friends like myself. Like for example, I just went to a, a concert the other night um, with my buddies, uh, you know, here in Las Vegas. It was at the House of Blues. I saw Taking Back Sunday. That's why you should follow me on Instagram because I take pictures like this. But anyways, like I'm a designated driver. I'm a sober person who is there and can keep an eye on things and make sure that none of my friends get in trouble. But anyways, that's a whole nother video. But hang out with sober people. We like to go out and have fun and party too. We just don't get intoxicated. But the other thing I wanna talk about, the most shocking part of this entire story. Like I was doing some research on this story right before I made this video and my brain almost exploded because of this. So at Jake Paul's party, he actually had private ambulances and paramedics in the driveway, just in case certain things happened because he knew it was gonna be a crazy party. I think they were even doing like motorcycle stunts or something like that. But not only that, not only that, the head of security, um, this is all reported by TMZ, I'll link the, the uh, down in the description below, but uh, the head of security was a, a former sheriff. They had 38 guards for security who were checking IDs. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, is this, is this the most responsible thing that Jake Paul has ever done in his life? Like, I was flabbergasted. I don't use the word flabbergasted that often, but I was flabbergasted, like. But then I go back and think, and not to take any credit away from Jake Paul, but I almost imagine that somebody like on his team, maybe his management team or PR team, like they knew how crazy this party was gonna get and say, listen, Jake, cover your butt, paramedics, security, you know, all these other things. Like that is the only thing that makes sense to me. But Jake Paul, if this was your idea to make sure you had these precautions set in place, good for you. Now, for all of you out there who are throwing parties, like we used to throw a ton of parties and like not all of us have those, you know, measures available. But again, I will use this opportunity because my videos are for you. My videos are for you, the one watching this. Just keep in mind, you know, cops are typically cool. They know, you know, kids like to party and everything like that. So if you're throwing house parties, just know if anything happens, if anything gets out of line, call the cops, they're your friends, they'll help you out, all right? But the other thing that not enough people know about, not enough people know about, is that in many states, in many states, they have laws that protect you if somebody overdoses at your house, all right? So a lot of people do not call in drug overdoses because they're afraid everybody's going to get in trouble for this. This isn't even just parties. Like if for some reason you're still in active addiction, I hope, I hope, I hope you get the help that you need. But just know, and I will just always plug this in videos whenever I can because too many people die from this. Just know if you are using drugs with somebody in most states, it is like you have this protection where you will not get arrested, you will not go to jail if you call the cops and let them know that somebody is overdosing. Like, this is something that I'm very passionate about. It's something that um, one of my best friends, who is also clean and sober for um, about seven years now as well, he almost died from an overdose. <laughs> they also robbed him blind when he was like pretty much dying, but he almost died from a, an overdose. Thank God he's still alive. And one of my um, best friends, she had a very close friend just a year or two ago where they were at a party, she overdosed on Xanax and alcohol and everybody just ran away and just left her there. And this is a young woman who passed away at 24 years old. So just make sure you know the laws in your state, call. And even if you don't know the laws in your state, just call the freaking cops, man. Like I, I just wouldn't want to live with that on my conscience. You know what I mean? So again, like I don't want to be old man Chris. Like it would be dumb of me to be like, just don't party and you don't got to worry about any of these things. No, 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 no. I'm here to just give you advice, suggestions. I try to share some of my experience. So if you're gonna go out there, if you're gonna party, if you're gonna go clubbing, if you wanna go get your groove on, do whatever it is that you do, baby girl. But please be safe, please be smart about it. You know, we're also living in a time where Uber and Lyft are a thing. There is no need to drive drunk home, like find somebody to give you a ride, do those things. Like, And if you have any tips or suggestions about protecting your drinks or to party safely or to get home safely or if your state has laws on you know um, protection from getting in trouble if somebody is overdosing at your house or a party or whatever if you have any tips comments 
anything that I left out of this video, please leave it down in the comment below because all I'm trying to do with my platform is take things going on in pop culture and the YouTube community and try to see what information we can put out there to help other people, all right? So anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron supporting what I'm doing here, get your name on this beautiful credits right here, get access to our monthly Q&A, some other perks and benefits, you can click or tap right there. All right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.